Hey y'all, it's the Wicked Witch from the Midwest back again, uh, and today we are painting our Cthulhu paint pot holder. And I am incredibly excited to do this because uh, it was an idea given to me by Michael Mordor, who is phenomenal. Uh, I, I don't know if Cthulhu was the immediate idea that went through my head, but I do know that that is what I ended up with, and he ended up being so adorable. So now we get to paint him to be even cuter. And I'm very excited, so I think I'm just going to jump into it because it is too cute. Uh, I think I lined him up pretty well for you guys to see here, and I've already got all the little slots filled. <laughs> um, so he's, he can hold one in this tent. All the tentacles are detachable. That way you can have a certain amount that you want. And I only made two tentacles because it did take a lot of clay to make this guy. Um, it ended up being a lot bigger than I was expecting to have to make it. Um, no, they do not have magnets, Mr. Wacky, but I um, will be buying magnets now because... <laughs> That's that cool. is really smart, and I did not think of that. <laughs> oh, hi, Kayla. Yes, Max, that is what I say every time. <laughs> I am the Wicked Witch from the Midwest. Cause it's just fun. Um, but this guy does hold five pots, um, and, I, and I'll probably end up making more tentacles later on. Um, but for now, all I have is the two tentacles. This is the only two the, that are held a little looser, uh, but these this one holds medium, and then this one is, like, in there, you know? <coughs> Shh. It wasn't as loud as I was expecting I'll for it to that. be. But it got me still. <laughs> yeah. he, he was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but what, what I did for the inside is the inside isn't actually clay, it's, I actually made a little riser out of clay, and then after I baked it, I used some of my quick drying concrete, and I raised it up to the same level as the uh, riser, which made it sit perfectly and evenly. Uh, he doesn't sit very evenly, but that's because I still have hot glue at the bottom that I haven't pulled out yet. Um, but we are going to remove our paint pots. I forgot the word for a minute there. And then we are going to start painting. And I'm actually painting this guy with almost entirely acrylic paints, which is ironic considering he's four mi mi uh, mini paints. Ooh. Thank you, gamers in the unknown. That is you. <laughs> oh, that's me hosting. <laughs> Sorry. It took me by surprise. I forgot that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee break. And I'm also going to try out my handy dandy uh, hand palette. Uh, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to put my paint on here. I'm going to put my extra paint on there. So hopefully my hands will end up being slightly cleaner. Um, but I know I'm still going to end up using my hands for paint anyways. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is prime the eyes. Because the eyes aren't going to be uh, acrylic. They, I'm going to be using the black ink stuff we love to use here for that. Um, so I just want to get it primed first. Oh, it's not clogged. It just looks clogged. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do that. Or I know we do have some stuff that Mom uses a lot for water. Uh, it does dry faster. I think. Did you see Miss Miss Leo? Oh, thank you, Leo. Yeah, it, it is. I was not. I was hoping to get a realistic one. Uh, that's what I was going for at the beginning, and then I was like, you know what? I have the this big hunk of clay left out, so I'm just gonna make two giant eyeballs as big as I can possibly make them, uh, and that's what I did. And he turned out super chibi and super cute, and I absolutely love him for it. Mr. Wacky says, says, I use glass glass cabotons for eyes, or cabocons. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is that the sort of thing you use for um, dolls, whenever you're making your own dolls? 
like animal, fake animal eyes, that sort of thing. He's going to look for a picture. Oh, cool. Speaking of pictures, remember you have the advantage of seeing this now, so you can line up. I thought I was doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was sort of thinking of doing like maybe like a pink brain design sort of thing for the inside. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for that yet. I think I'm going to start with this screen. And I'm just going to use this brush because this is a good brush to use for this. You know, super informational right now. <laughs> Mr. Remember, Mr. Wacky stuff was talking about doing dice. Ooh, yeah, those are pretty really neat. pretty. Yeah, uh, super sparkly. Glitter rocks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this one, Cora. Ooh. Kind of look. It kind of reminds me of that ice cream <coughs> dot thing. I don't remember what it's called, but it looks like it. <laughs> Dibs. Dib. No. Dip and, no. Dip and dots. Dip and dots. I think so. Yeah. They're still around, but I pretend like they're not because they're from my childhood, and I. <laughs> okay. Are those the eyes? Here's some of it. Here's some clear ones. And for anybody listening, this is in the I made this channel on our Discord server. <laughs> sure. Loud enough, Dad? <laughs> it didn't scare me. It was just really loud. I just tensed every muscle in my body. <laughs> um, <laughs> whew. Uh, oh. And it was Diablo film. That's your mom. Yeah, that makes sense. I think this is more of a Mike Wazowski green than a Cthulhu green. But it's just the starting coat, so it doesn't really matter yet. <laughs> so Mr. Wacky Stuff has shared some pictures of these uh, eyes, which are pretty cool, in the I Made This channel on Discord. On our Discord server. Look at that. Ooh. That's really neat. That's fun. Do you get those off of Amazon or? Uh, let's see. Uh, what's oh no, that's attachments. I thought it was a link. Man, that one for sure gets my Crypt Monkey seal of approval. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing those. Those are really neat. Yeah. They are super cheap. You just paint it on the back of the glass. This is Mr. Wacky Stuff, Cora. Mike has a little darkness in him. Yeah, I, I did. So I guess that is from Amazon. Sorry, it was off screen, so we're catching up. Yeah. We only have one monitor over here, so. See, green hands. I'm going to make sure I get as far away from the eyes as possible for now. <laughs> I'm just coating him in a Mike Wazowski color right now. Because that's what I'm going to call it now. It's just Mike Wazowski. That's the color. That that is the exact shade I'm using right now.
Um, we haven't done a lot with airbrushing. Mom has done a little bit. I don't know if Dad has done any in his past, but I know he hasn't done any recently. Um, but I do want to get into it. I just have to have time to do it. <laughs> I do not. I use I use paint a lot for my laser etching, but I just use spray cans. I leave the the, the truly artistic stuff to uh, to these guys. <laughs> trying to make sure I focused on that camera, but I forgot there's a camera right there I can point it at <laughs> instead of trying to break my wrist. Oof. No need to shake the table, Dad. It's just a duck. <laughs> That is a duck of doom. Exactly. Nothing to fear. a single time that a sound effect has come up this evening. <laughs> Green hands. I think I got an almost a perfect amount of paint on my palette for this color for the entire base coat, which is very nice. I don't like wasting paint. to a different brush to get these crannies. Now I kind of want to make a Mike Wazowski paint pot holder. That would just be adorable. And we already have the paint for it. <laughs> Wazowski. Alright. Now to get a brain pink. There's one right there. And it's going to be a little difficult to do this because I'm literally gonna be like drawing in the brain instead of just like putting the color in but I think I'm gonna do the bottom right here is all gonna be brain colored and then I'm going to make the inside of it like skull co co colored so like his head was chopped out chopped open <laughs> and now it's just the brain and a little bit of a skull <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of shiny. I was not expecting that. You got dad all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> Scared dad and you made me jump too. <laughs> it's loud and sudden. <laughs> It's not like the uh, Halloween ones where they wait a minute and then they scare you. Those are just really loud. <laughs> Uh, I need like a bone color, but I want it to I want to stick to acrylic as much as possible. Ah, uh, my go-to acrylic uh, antique white. 
Mike Wazowski paint holder amazing but keeping the spooky theme cutesy like zombie grim or something and then the inside you can paint to look like the last bit of brains on the bottom let's take an idea and run with it from Mr. Wacky <laughs> <laughs> yeah I very much want to do a uh, Mike Wazowski one now but that'll probably just be a YouTube uh, channel one instead of a uh, stream gotcha Honestly, antique white is just a great color for so many different things. It, it really is just like a universal color. I know you guys can't really see much of anything, but I don't really want to pick it up considering even just spinning it, I'm getting Wazowski all over my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit on the inside. Cause I did get some antique white on the brain. There we go, that's a bit better. And then I can clean that up more afterwards. Um, I think we're probably going to use this as our main color on Cthulhu. Because it's a good color for Cthulhu. Being super descriptive, because I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> when did we get a baby sound? Well, thanks, Max, for the uh, 275 bits. There we go, I got it. There we go. Well, I probably just got paint on my glasses, but it's fine. It's easy enough to wash off. Oh yeah, that's a great Cthulhu color. I think you guys burst my eardrums there, because that was loud. said somebody bought the baby laugh. Yeah, Max. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for the bits. Sir's waiting to throw some hands. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. You can just kick him outside again. <laughs> Until he starts barking out there. We love him, but oh boy, does he like to pick fights with us. <laughs> If he wants something, he will let us know or he will do it himself. And we don't always want him to do that. <laughs> See, he's a, he's a small dog and sometimes I'm not fast enough on getting him off of my very tall bed. Uh, and he'll just be like, yeet! Uh, and he usually doesn't hurt himself, but every once in a while he gets very close to hurting himself. Luckily, he doesn't do it very often, because he's learned his lesson on that one. <laughs> and he's never, like, hurt himself, like, all that badly. Like, the other day, he did twist his ankle while we were outside playing with the frisbee, but 
it was like a little over a day later and he was all better just because he was annoyed i think i think he was probably faking it for part of the part of it well not faking it but like unwilling to use it uh but then he got annoyed with us yelling at him every time he jumped off the couch we allow him to jump off the couch except for whenever he hurts himself and then we're like we will baby you until you are better. And he's like, oh my god, stop. Look, I'm fine. And he's just suddenly better. I'm just blabbering about my dog because he is a uh, annoying cutie patootie. <laughs> I think I might do um, freckles or like spots on him. I'm not entirely sure yet. I think it'll still be a shade of green. Uh, I'm just not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Cause I don't really want him to be just like a flat color. Cause if, if he's just a flat color, then we'll be done in a few minutes. <laughs> you know, I gotta stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> So I might try to do the, uh, my mom's star trick and do that to make some freckles on him, or I might do individual freckles if I don't think that's going to take long enough. Right. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a different mat from mom because I make a lot more of a mess when I paint. <laughs> But it's fine, because it's just an artist's mess, you know? <laughs> some artists are clean, and some are messy. And that's just how it goes. I think I'm going to leave this rim here, that bright green. Because I just think that'll be fun. Me surrounded by paint bottles and palettes. It's okay, it's an artist's mess. Exactly, it is an artist's mess. If you can take the object you're painting and put it on the table and move it, it's not dirty, it's just an artist's mess. <laughs> if you can't move it or you can't put it down, it is a mess and you do need to clean it up next week. <laughs> but it's next week, not this week, so it's fine. <laughs> I, I have never met an artist without at least the little tiniest bit of um, procrastination. And you know what? That's fine. Because probably the reason that most people turned into artists is because they were procrastinating on their homework. And now, they're artists. <laughs> So I left the rim on the Wazowski green, and I'm leaving the tentacle holes on the Wazowski green as well. Um, but now we're going to let that dry, and we're going to move back to the brain. And I found my dark pink. So now we're just going to do a bunch of squigglies. Ooh, it's got a nice little whip to it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I'll take inspirational speeches by Quora for 6,000. AKA, Mom, I failed math because I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work, um, though, did it, when you were in school? No. No. And I didn't fail math because I am surprisingly good at math. I did fail science, though. But to be fair, it is science. It's not easy. I think it was specifically chemistry. I'm good at algebraic science. I am not good at chemistry science because I don't know. Oh no, it's physics. I'm not good at. I'm not good at physics science because that makes zero sense. And to all those physicists out there that are like, "Huh," I'm just gonna have to say, "Good for you," because I do not understand anything that you people do. Um. But y'all rock it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just making random little swigglies, but it, it's it's coming out to look like a brain. Although I do realize now that it's dried that rose is apparently a purple. Not entirely sure why that is, uh, but it is apparently. But I can fix that later, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> go. Alright, let's find a better will work. Although it kind of looks like it's going to end up... I have no idea if this is going to be brighter or darker. Uh, that's going to end up purple. Why do pinks always end up purple? Ooh. Yeah, that should turn out really good. Oh yeah, that's that's the perfect pink right there. Miss Leo says, I got really confused for a sec because I was like, wait, chemistry is algebraic science? <laughs> I mean, kind of. In the science class I had, it was it was kind of algebraic. Because you had to do like A G plus I don't I don't remember my table. It one <laughs> thing plus another thing equals an entirely new thing. That's what science is, and it makes no sense. Of course, I just described pretty much everything in that one sentence, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you failed math in general. <laughs> uh, well, no. Oh, no, math, yes. Math, yes. No, you're talking about science. I did not fail science. Yes, I failed math. <laughs> no, your science teachers liked you because you did a funny voice. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> now that I made my squigglies, I get to go around my squigglies. I thought that said addiction made no sense. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Yes, uh, subtraction makes more sense than addition, honestly. I still remember the time that I had to learn how to do algebraic long division. And for those of you who don't know the words I just said, good for you because I don't I don't remember how to do it anymore because it was the most difficult thing I have ever done. It was fun. It was fun to do on like homework assignments, but it is not easy by any means. Better than your science teacher having a vendetta against you. Oh, yeah, that would suck. Science teachers always seem to like me, which is hilarious, because I was like, pretty much every single time I entered a science class, I'm like, hey, um, this is like my worst subject, um, so don't hate me because I'm bad at it. And suddenly they all loved me. <laughs> but yeah, history teachers hated me. I don't know why. That and my fourth grade teacher. Man, that woman had a vendetta against me. I didn't get to go on any field trips my entire fourth grade year. I'm still a little salty about that. It's 
kind of looking more like um, colorblind magma. Um, that is true. Mom just yelled from the back saying she hated everybody. And that is true. She did hate everyone except for the popular kids, which is a fun way to uh, do fourth grade elementary school. Only had one teacher dislike me to this day. I hope, I still hope I haunt her because that, she is why I had to do trigonometry and calculus. Oh my god, I hated trigonometry. It was so hard. It was, it was annoying to say the least. Because I did not get it at all. I had a great teacher for it. He was great at teaching. I just could not understand trigonometry. I just realized I missed his booty. He kind of looks like a frog, honestly, uh, without the tentacles and without looking at his uh, tentacle beard. But he's cute. And he has a little brain. What is it, a brain? It's a very cutesy brain. Did you read that? Yeah, I did. Uh, I think we're gonna move to the... No, we're gonna wait on the eyeballs, because I still haven't decided if I'm doing freckles. Oh, I do need to do the little suckers. I don't remember what they're called. I think they're just called suckers. Or puckers. I don't know. The suckers on the tentacles? Yeah, they're just suckers? Okay. Yeah. I don't know what color I'm gonna do. I think I might just do a purple on that, because I really like a, the purple and green combos. And this is a pretty nice purple. Oh, yeah. Read. <laughs> then you read. No, you need to. Everybody on, it, 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 if anybody gets on on YouTube, they're going to be like, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> It'll be like a Rucker family reunion. <laughs> That's too true. <laughs> We don't, I don't know half the people that I'm related to because there's just so many. I've met them all a thousand times and I don't know hardly any of their names and I feel so bad for it, but I have a really big family, so it's not my fault. <laughs> all right, that is still wet and so is that. So we will not be doing that yet, but we will be flipping them. <laughs> Uh, I think he needs another coat of that green. He's looking very, uh... If words were easy, we wouldn't need them. That That's all I have to say. He's looking splotchy. Let's just go with splotchy. Uh, so Miss Leo said, so actual dislike one teacher, but if... We want to talk about inept. My college advisor is married to the man who runs the program I wanted to go into for my master's class. Breathe. And she didn't advise me to take any writing classes when it was required to get into the program. Wow. That is not good. That's not cool. I'm just like chugging my coffee. <laughs> So pretty much everything is still wet, which is fun. Um, but the brain is looking pretty fun. You guys can probably see it a little bit. Brain. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and jump into a second coat of the Cthulhu green. And I try to go in one direction when I'm doing something this big with like a glob of paint on my brush. Oh my god. Um, that way it just leaves minimal streaks, minimal splotchiness. So even if I have to do a second coat, it's not nearly as bad as having to do five coats, you know? Because even if you do five co coats, you can still get streaks and you can still get splotches. But if you do it this way, 
you see, it's like almost an entirely solid coat. Like I have like a spot to clean up there. Clean it up again. There we go. Most difficult part is going to be the front of the face here because it's difficult to go in those long straight lines when you can't go in a long straight line. because I know you guys can't really see very well, but I have to get a certain angle on this spot, unfortunately. There we go. Nice and de-splotchied. Right, I think I'm going to take a little brush and get up underneath his tentacles. this camera because I like switching things up. Oh, I am not in frame at all. I was wondering if that's what you thought you meant. <laughs> I'll go this way then. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time working on this. <laughs> I was really loud. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'll be able to hear tomorrow. <laughs> you may not have jumped, but your eyes went as big as tires. I was not expecting it to be quite that loud. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like those are almost dry. And this one is pretty much dry. Whoosh. Oh, looks like the inside of the brain wasn't clean. <laughs> er. Dry, that's the word. I swear most of you guys just watch for me to uh, just not be able to speak. Because <laughs> <laughs> Leo says, yay, I got Cora. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty good sucker. Probably want to switch the brush though, because I think this one's a little too thick for this. Mm. Please ignore Dad's phone vibrating the entire earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weedy. Man, I didn't think I would be so good at drawing little circles on a tentacle, but those are turning out really cute. Green and purple just always work, and it really makes me happy because I really like these colors together. And you won't really be able to see these, but since it's not a miniature and it's something you like move around a lot, you will notice them. Which will be a lot of fun. Oh, Dad, you have to read that one out. <laughs> oh, uh this Leo says, it's okay, one of you guys had the sound on earlier in the stream and I kept thinking it was my email notification telling me I got an order, but nope, it was the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miss Leo. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the Etsy app and the Etsy uh, merchant app. I I don't know if that's what they were talking about. They might be talking about the uh, my notifications popping up earlier. 
No, I know. I, I was saying something else. Oh, go for it. Um, but every time I get a normal Etsy uh, pop-up on my phone, I, I, uh, my mind goes blank. I always like, ooh, did I get a candle order? But I didn't. I didn't get a candle order. It's just Etsy saying, hey, there's new compasses on Etsy now. I'm like, cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I like looking at compasses, but I don't, I don't need to buy any. <laughs> I was, when I was first making this guy, I was wanting to make each individual sucker, but that's just a lot of work. Because it, it's, it's not as easy to do this uh, with clay as it is with paint. Didn't get me. <laughs> I heard you walking on the porch. It's creak, 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 creak. <laughs> no, I'm green with Mike Wazowski. Why would I be envious? <laughs> of course Georgie's cooler. Miss Leo says, breaking my heart over here with the getting excited for an order. Yeah, that <laughs> I think that's my alerts popping up on this system. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't turn off the uh, sound for that without turning off the sound of you guys trying to scare me. Well, I could. <laughs> I just haven't done so. <laughs> you just outed yourself. <laughs> yeah. And I just realized I got way too much purple paint in my palette uh, for these tentacles. <laughs> I think they're taking turns hanging out with Sir outside so he'll just like calm the heck down. Believe it or not, guys, this isn't actually what I do. What I do is uh, I make candles, and I recently updated my... Uh, I haven't updated my Etsy yet, because I literally just finished it today. But I changed all of my candles to be D&D uh, &D 5E spell names and potion names. Uh, like, I have a coffee scent that is a greater mana potion, uh, and that is what the little label says on it. Uh, and it's really cute. I got them ready just in time for this con that we are doing this weekend. Um, meeple over in Kansas City. I'm doing really good at plugging things today. <laughs> But I do need to update my Etsy because it is very much lagging behind on the updates. Because I still only have my original scents on there instead of all these new scents I have. I only have like a couple on there, which is a bit disappointing. But I will be working on that whenever we get home from the convention. Because I very much want to people to start buying my candles on Etsy so I can feel like I'm doing something. But this is fun in the meantime. I'll probably still do this even if I am slammed with Etsy orders. Please slam me with Etsy orders. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's Tentacle 1 done. Super cute looking. Eyeballs. Yeah, thousands of little eyeballs. <laughs> Do you know where his thunder coat is? Uh, it should be over there, where it goes. Awesome sauce. 
I always try to make sure I put that away over the even over the collar. Although I also try to put that away because the thunder coat is more for like chill out dog. <laughs> It's like we use those for thunderstorms and football games because he doesn't like loud noises and he definitely doesn't like loud sudden noises, which is a lot of everything we do. That's why I, well, that's why we think he doesn't like streaming is because of the noises during the streams. Uh, and then he doesn't like football games because we're constantly cheering or yelling and. He doesn't like thunder because it's loud and sudden. Obviously, I'm just rambling at this point. It's like, you guys give me a topic to talk about and I will just burst your eardrums with just incessant talking. I'm very good at talking. <laughs> but only when I have something to talk about. I definitely like the ones that were on this tentacle more than this tentacle because I liked the like back and forth look I did on that that one versus the straight look I did on this one but either way they turned out really cute and I might be making more tentacles for this guy later on uh, but I figure two is probably enough for now <laughs> um, but I might actually be making this guy again so I can make a mold of him and that way I can cast him in concrete and actually sell him. That would be really fun. But actually, it, I don't think it looks like it, but I did actually make these two tentacles the same size. They are the same size. They just, this one looks a lot longer because of the way it's shaped, way it's placed. But like they are the same length, which is really fun. <laughs> that kind of looks like a face. I need to start making them smaller, otherwise I have to go to the dots already. Dad, can you read that for me? Uh, this last one? Yeah. Miss Leo says, Testing. Twitch was going funky, and now I'm the only one writing in the chat, and that's not normal. Is everyone else silent? <laughs> and I am just chatty, or are there other comments since my awesome and since I'm awesome and I'm not seeing it? Um, no, I think everybody else is just chilling out. <laughs> Still making the ship to fall, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying a quiet Halloween month. And Dawn and I are somewhat quiet on this one because we're sort of wandering around the house with Sir. Yeah, I did talk about that a little bit. Because they're trying to, like, solve whatever his issue is because even whenever yesterday I was listening but I was listening over my headphones instead of just out loud and he could still hear it on my headphones and still just like freaking out <laughs> plus we have weather coming in I think and he knows <laughs> yeah he does not like that either I think I'm going to switch the dots now Papa, we got new stuff on there. Can you read it for me? Um, Ms. Leo said, Yay for social anxiety when I'm not even around other people. Diablo film, that's 
Dewan says, cutting fabric, um, Max Universe, I'm working on my Animal Crossing island. <laughs> Joanne says Animal Crossing fabric now. I got some because it's really cute and I'm going to make face masks out of it. Max, do you want some? I, I can bring them uh, whenever we see each other this weekend. It's, uh, the ones I have is of, oh shoot, I don't remember his name. It's that main guy and the two yeah. twins. And then I have one of the fabric kits. And they're all, they're so cute. And I absolutely love them. Yes, I will absolutely uh, make masks for you. And I will bring them because it is, they're just so cute. Oh, mom's coming to show the fabric. Did you grab both of them? Yeah. Let me finish this spot. My hands are covered in paint, so you have to carry it for me. Uh, do you want me to go to? Oh, I forgot. Okay, it's not it's not the twins. It's Elizabeth and the main guy. No, God! No, no God, God! Please, no! Please, no! 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 Creep show got me. No! no! And then this one is my absolute favorite because this one is just so cute. I, I love these two. They're my two favorite characters. And plus my favorite thing to do in Animal Crossing is the clothing. <laughs> and hello, Creepshow. You got me. <laughs> uh, but we have finished our puffers, pu puckers, suckers. <laughs> I'm really bad at these. <laughs> They uh, look really cute, though. They do. I did two different styles for each tentacle, but they both turned out really great. There we go. You can kind of see them there. Max Universe says, oh my god, the ones with the Able Sisters, please. Able Sisters, I yes. I love me. <laughs> I need to do a Joanne order now. <laughs> no, Max. Walk away from the computer. <laughs> Walk away. And Creepshow says, that was my response to anything Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, Mom, since you're here, do you think I should do freckles? Yes. Yes. You can use this spoolie. I, I, I didn't know if I was going to do um, the spoolie or if I was going to do individuals yet. Yeah, I'll do the spoolie. Uh, I wish I had something to cover the eyes, though. But I can just do another base coat. Um, <clears throat> well... I did find that the spoolie doesn't work as well as the toothbrush for me. I'll give the spoolie a try, but yeah, bring the toothbrush over just in case. Toothbrush, and you could actually let me get a piece of paper and you can use that or a, to test. No. What you can do is because you'll actually see the freckles even through a base coat. So what you can do is tear a piece of this and kind of. Hold it over the eye with one hand and freckle with the other hand. Oh, yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is Sir telling me, come back and lay in the other room. <laughs> come back and hide with me. I'm lonely and scared of nothing and everything at the same time. What's up, buddy? Okay. No, quit it. Come on, Sorry. Go. Little barky dog. He's oh. got the woofs. <laughs> now he's insisting I take him for a walk. <laughs> Why don't you grab he, the frisbee and throw it out with him? He, he can't see it dark. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, I caught up. <laughs> I bet I put that there next to in front of the camera, probably. All right, let's test that. All right, I think that's too thin to get anything. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with the brush. I liked the idea of the spoolie; it just didn't oh, yeah, give works. me. That works really well. As much as I like, and the toothbrush, I'm just so used to. So I think it, I think there's a combination there of doing the toothbrush first and then coming back and doing an even lighter spray with a different color with a spoolie might lead to some amazing results, you know? Yeah. I'm just in the flashlight. 
Miss Leo says, if you make another Cthulhu, you need to add one of those ridiculous mustaches on top of the small tentacles. I think it would add another level of goofy to it. Dad, get the filter off my face. <laughs> and a top hat? And a top hat, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> Villain mustache and a top hat. Mm. Don says a, a a villain mustache and a top hat. It'll be a Jack the Ripper Cthulhu. Yes. <sighs> well, actually, one thing I did with the tentacles on the front of the face is I made these two outer ones curl out like a, like the like the little the evil hand, mustache. The, the handlebars. So he does have a little bit of a mustache, but I will absolutely do that for the next one. Uh, this color is not dark enough, so I'm going to... Leo says uh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of brown to it, because I don't want it to go too much darker, but I do need a little bit of darkness so you can see it. Uh, this one. And I need to add more water to it. Because you always want to make sure you water down your acrylics. Not too much, um, but if you're doing like stars or something that you have to like throw it essentially uh, you want to make sure you water it down so it one it spreads easier but it also oh, that's loud <laughs> <laughs> but it also um it does stuff i don't i don't remember anymore that sound makes me lose my train of thought so fast <laughs> Those, those are nice little freckles. You can't really see them because I have to do it this way. Um, but you can see me doing it. You just can't really see them. So I'll show you guys in a minute. You can probably hear me doing it too because it's a. It, it looked like it. I was wondering. So I was watching <laughs> the. the the mixer jump around while you were doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's coming out with a great freckle to it. Miss Leo says, Cora.exe, quit working. Yeah. That sound means my brain has shut down. <laughs> Can't see him too well because I think it's because of the shine a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, but, yeah. yeah. They're showing up very well. Oh yeah, you can see them real well now. Yeah, just gotta finish doing that all the way around. And then he'll be freckly and speckly. <laughs> I'm trying to cover the eyes and the brain as well as possible. It sounds like Sir's going psycho. <laughs> doing this kind of makes me feel like I'm doing like surgery on his head. <laughs> So I'm like, just like covering his eyes, like, don't look, you can't see. <laughs> right. And I like need to do like the center portion. <laughs> now I have to get underneath his tentacles. I'm just gonna try to like dot above his eyes. Dawn's halfway down the street. And I just felt a raindrop. <laughs> Whoops. That's <laughs> yeah, about right. <laughs> Brush my hand a little. <laughs> Alright. Those speckles are looking super cute. And it looks like I did thoroughly drench the inside of his brain with speckles. <laughs> Despite my best efforts not to. <laughs> uh, but I do have a couple of spots that I want to add more.
and it's gonna be fun trying to wash the paint from outside of underneath my nail. <laughs> now I'm just gonna brush my brush. <laughs> He is thoroughly speckled, and it looks very good. Then I'm going to clean up the inside of his brain a little bit. Miss Leo says, the flecks inside are just bits of kelp he brought up when he came up from the deep. <laughs> Groovy. I uh, interrupt briefly. So we're a little bit over an hour in, so I'll just remind everyone um, on Tuesdays, all Halloween month long on the painting show, we are giving away a mini. I think, are you guys talking about doing a mini on this one for next episode? Uh, I thought we were talking about this episode, but uh, Mom hasn't mentioned anything since. Uh, okay, so. I will talk to Mom when they when get she back. Gets out of the rain. <laughs> but there is one more. Wednesday. Next Wednesday is the last Wednesday for Halloween month. Oops. So you probably should do it then. Yeah, that would make more sense probably. Uh, so Finale. Every Tuesday, which we have... Oh, let me look. I, I guess we got one more Tuesday. One more Tuesday. So next Tuesday and possibly next Wednesday we will be giving away free mini to followers to a follower a random follower that is in the chat when we do the drawing uh, next Tuesday I don't even know what the mini is she won't say no mom's keeping it a surprise <laughs> it's a secret I'm not trying too hard to clean it up. Um, I'm just trying to clean up the big chunks of flex. Not chunks. I don't remember the word, but it where it's in a large area. I'm trying to break it up, really, is all I'm trying to do. Clusters? Clusters! Yes, that's the word. My dictionary behind the camera. <laughs> Tentacles too? Yes, I do. I was just about to do that. Okay. Uh, but I am going to give him a curtain. A nice big curtain. So I can't do that to him again. Because <laughs> he doesn't need extra flecked. You could put him over there facing the camera and then cover his back. <laughs> That's good stuff. The problem is, is that's the action camera they can see the flecking on, but... Eh. Oh, I wasn't even watching over there. Eh, that works. So. They should be able to see it, because I'll be able to go up down on this one. But as you can see, this is why I use a different map for Mom. <laughs> days I'm going to make a crafting apron. I don't know if this is already something someone's already done before, but what I want to do is I want to make an apron um, based on all of the different crafting things I do. So like I'll take old paint brushes that don't, we don't use anymore because they don't work very well and I'll take and I'll splatter paint on it. I might put take some clay and like smash it on random spots uh, and I'd like to put some resin on there but I don't know if that's the best idea and I don't want to make it too heavy <laughs> but I want to make it and just like cover it in different crafts I do and I want to wear that for every time I do crafting stuff especially like on the stream and stuff Sounds fun. and that way I don't ruin as many shirts as I usually do <laughs> there we go that spot right there 
I don't know if I'm going to make a video on it or just randomly start wearing it. <laughs> um, a little bit of planning, we could stream it. Yeah, but splatter, I, I'm like splattering paint is what I want to do. With a little bit of this flecking, because it's a lot of fun. But yeah, it, we could still stream it with the mobile app, I just don't have it yet. Ah. Well, it would probably be like a November, or maybe next year when it gets warmer outside. In spring. But if we plan it out ahead of time, then we can do it together, guys. And it might be a, a co-stream where Mom and I both make aprons. I think it's time for this guy's eyes. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a cute idea? Because I think that's a really fun idea. So, actually, what we could do, if you want to do that, is uh, figure out an embroidery you want on it. And that's probably the first thing you'd do, right? Yeah. And we could set up cameras in there and and follow you on uh, with a mobile to go outside and splatter paint or smear it with clay or whatever you're doing. All of the above. I could probably put like some wax scents on it. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna work on smell a vision for the stream. <laughs> You know you gotta give them big dark black eyes whenever they're so it's when the eyes are so big. Just gotta be like the darkest color you can find. <laughs> Miss Leo says very cute. Also, Ooh. at the end of the stream, are we even gonna be able to see your hands under all the paint? Unlikely. <laughs> Note that Cora doesn't do like Dawn where oh I'm gonna try to be paint free for an hour. You're like, nope. There's going to be paint. There was already paint on my hands before I started streaming. <laughs> <laughs> and all I did was I put the tent the the mustache back on cuz it unfortunately did come off in the drying process. Uh That's literally all I did and I had paint on my hands afterwards. <laughs> well, it wasn't paint. It was the uh filler stuff. His eyes are a little drippy. That's the problem with these inks on large surfaces that aren't flat. <laughs> is they do love to drip. That's what the paper towels are for. <laughs> alright, another announcement. Is that alright? Yeah, good. Uh, Unless something prevents us from doing it, which is possible. We do have a convention this weekend out in Kansas City. Um, but if everything goes as planned, then we are expecting Gamers in the Unknown to have our first stream on Monday. Uh, I don't remember what time, but if you go and follow Gamers in the Unknown on Twitch, then you'll get your uh, notification that we're starting. For anyone that doesn't know, Jake from Parlor Gaming and myself mm. will be talking about paranormal and unknown and things like that. Our first episode, we're going to talk about Bigfoot. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about kind of the highlights, the things that we found in our research. And then at the end of the stream, we will have some sort of a resource for you so that you can use it in your own tabletop game. Um, sometimes that'll be a creature. Maybe sometimes it's a, a sort of a mini setting. Um, it may just be a story idea for you, but we'll, we'll give you something that you can use from this sort of real world, uh, paranormal, creature, cryptid, place, whatever we're talking about that evening. So if that sounds fun, then come check us out. It'll be Mondays, hopefully starting next Monday. It's our first one, so we're trying to get everything lined up still. Took a coffee break while he was talking. <laughs> Uh, what was I grabbing? There it is, that's what I was grabbing. Alright. So while I was gluing his tent.
tentacles back on, um, I had a glit drip of super glue happen just underneath his mouth, so now there's like a little blob there. So I'm gonna turn that little blob into a little blob of needs to clean up after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for that, I'm just going to use the blood for the blood gods. Which is my favorite technical. If you can. Oh, yeah, you're, you're awfully high. There you go. I'm used to being it, having it up there. I know. So I'm just like trying to do that. I but think I it's just this. easier for you guys if I can figure out how to get it back there in this new area. Pulley system. <laughs> Almost dropped him. That would not have been fun. That would have been a very sad ending to this stream. <laughs> there we go. He just needs a little napkin. Just a little... But like on the apron I can paint onto it different things that I've done during streams like I can paint a little Cthulhu on there I might paint a little Mike Wazowski on there just because that's fun and I have the paint color <laughs> and I can do like a mimic a coffin it would just be a lot of fun I, I have been thinking about making this apron for a little quite a while now and I just haven't yet and it's a little disappointing that I've been putting it off for so long yeah, that's really cute. He's really cute. <laughs> there we go. Uh, now I'm just sitting here awkwardly. <laughs> I think I'm gonna clean up around his eyes. And then I might add just like the tiniest little pupils. <laughs> I almost just dunked my hand in paint. <laughs> that would have been fun. But yeah, I, I would like to think that Cthulhu is a pretty messy eater. Simply because who is... I think it's more of like a... He's testing people. Like, is anyone going to tell me that I have blood dripping off of my mouth? Anyone who does, I'll kill instantly, but... <laughs> or would they tell me if they didn't think their life depended on it? Probably. But it's more fun if their life did depend on it. I think I might give him a beauty mark. I just think that would be really cute. If he just had like this little freckle. Probably on his tush. Ah, they have returned from their walk. <laughs> Hopefully we have a sleepy puppy now. Hopefully. <laughs> Thirsty puppy. I should have told you the trick about the, the clay that I found recently. 
to get it super smooth, you can actually polish it with a rock. Oh. Well, that's neat. It's called burnishing. Like for leather. I don't know. I've never heard of the term before watching it. Yeah. I'm going to give him a beauty mark on his tush. Because I just think that's... I, I think that's cute. Agreed. Just. Dude, you're not going back out that door. Come here. There we go. Might make that a little darker. Oh, I just realized I used the spoolie instead of the back of the brush. <laughs> we are not going to do a hello from Sir. Just know that he says hello and he loves you all. Uh -huh. He woofed at you guys earlier. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure, that's what that was. <laughs> that was his woofy hello. <laughs> I just don't want to get him any more yeah. angst up. <laughs> Speaking of which. Man, he's a demanding little Yep. Come on, Miss Leo says hi back to Sir. <laughs> there. Little tushy booty beauty mark. It's a little difficult to see. There it is. Keep turning it the wrong way. It's like a mirror instead of. Well, actually, it's because I'm not looking. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna leave his eyes black pul pools. Um, but I think I'm actually going to change to a different black because this one's a little too thin for my liking, and I want it to be solid. So that they are dead, inky pools of blackness. Yes, and then I'm gonna gloss over them. <laughs> Despair lives here. A little more. A little more. There we go. He is quite cute, though. Like, I kind of wish I had, like, the darkest black ever. I don't remember the name of the... Shrek. Well, that's loud. <laughs> Mr. Wacky Stuff got me again. I don't know if it can be this loud for the next time, because that's just too loud. <laughs> you just don't like it because it got you. It wouldn't have gotten me if it didn't burst my eardrums. <laughs> there we go. See the difference there? And, hmm? Yes, that. If I if I had that, I would absolutely use that for his eyes. But I Say unfortunately what that do that. Is. <laughs> uh Vanta Black. It is the darkest black ever created, and it is a paint. I don't know what that is. You have to say that. <laughs> Um, but that is the blackest paint ever created. Don't know who that is. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I thought it said um, Amish at first. Oh, no, it's Amish. An artist. I don't know what's wrong with him. So. <laughs> Was he the person who created the color? Oh, it is. Oh. 
Yeah, that's not cool. That seems weird. I know, I mean, my background is more music. And in music, you can't really take a chord and copyright it. But I guess because there's chemistry involved, you can do that with a color. Ooh. Something in my brush just popped. So cute. <laughs> See, that's so much better than the tie cam. No, I like the Thai cam also, but this is just the Cthulhu cam. Or should I say, Cthulhu glue. <laughs> just a dot, not a lot. Uh, hold on one second. I can do that. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> just a dot, not a lot. Mr. Wacky Stuff says, anyway, I posted the next market available black is black, and I think it's overrated. Oh, let's see. I think he posted it in the Twitch chat. Oh. I saw a link up there earlier. Oops. My bad. Oh, yeah, this guy. It. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, oh, from... CultureHustle.com. I'm going to add a little bit more color to the uh, Spoochies suckers. I'm going to call them Spoochies now because I like that. <laughs> um, that way they'll just have like a little bit more depth to them. Especially with like this deep purple. I'm going to try this out because I have a feeling I'll be using it for this part. <laughs> yeah, that black looks black. <sighs> looks photoshopped black, honestly. <laughs> I think this is a good one to use. No, I'm not going to use that one. Uh, oh, this one. Yes, this one. I didn't even know there was a pinkest pink. Um, Ugh, no, I'm not going to use that. And Max says, in order to buy Black 3.0, you have to certify that you are not Anish Kapoor and will not give it to him. That's funny, though. Same for the pinkest pink. I have not used the pinkest pink, so I can't comment. Oh, that was Mr. Wacky stuff, that last one. See, like, that just gives it a lot more depth, and I really like that. You know what? One, one more announcement, just so we're, because we try to do this when we know this sort of thing is occurring. We do have storms that are rolling in that are supposed to start any time now. So if we get cut off, we apologize, uh, but we'll go, we'll keep going if we can. <laughs> but we are getting pretty close, so. Good deal. Which is surprising, because last time I ended... The earliest I have ended so far is like 10 after 9. <laughs> well, I thought you got done at 8.30 or 8.40 or something last week. No, it was like 10 after 9, I think. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Mr. Wacky Stuff says, I'm ordering some Yinman Blue, the newest blue pigment. Oh, yeah. I think I heard of that. It's like a really pretty blue, isn't it? Leo says, is that the new super duper expensive one? Mr. Wacky Stuff, pigment are very interesting. We've lost so many colors. Like Egyptian blue, we just don't have that anymore. Yeah, I was, I was watching this uh, history video earlier today, and I don't remember exactly what it was about, but apparently one of the last colors... Uh, the human race like started 
saying as an actual color was blue. Because, like, it went black, white, red, yellow, and green. Yellow and green switched back and forth. And then blue was the last color they figured out. Like, in Homer, it one was one of their examples, was they mentioned black and white, like, hundreds of times, red ten times, and then yellow and green were, like, only a couple of times, and then blue never came up. He even described the ocean as being wine dark, but he never said the color blue, ever, in the entire thing. And that, it, and apparently that happens a lot in almost every culture around the world. And that's just really interesting. Damage we- Microbe says... Max Universe, how do you feel about purple? Max Universe, purple is fake. Our brains just make it the fuck up. Because it's not on the visible light spectrum. Damage microbe, guess that Gingar must be invisible too. Max Universe, he is a ghost. Damage microbe, son of a bitch. (laughs) Okay, you win this round. Mr. Wacky Stuff, it's not expensive. Was that the, the, the blue. blue we were talking about? Okay. <laughs> that was a great comeback. <laughs> yeah, that see, that was looking a lot better. Even just doing tiny little dots on these other dots, it's really making them pop more. Mr. Wacky Stuff adds, but don't get much. It goes a long way, luckily. I just want to play with it. Did you for it? See, that's cute. I can waste my money any way I please. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> Apps of friggin' lootly. Creepshow says, I never understand why they try to convince us that red and green are two different colors. <laughs> well, I'm with you there. I'm not allowed to shop on my own for clothes. You don't think pink and gray are different colors. It took like a month to convince him that Courage the Cowardly Dog was pink and not gray. I never said I was convinced. (laughs) My point. But I have come home with pink shirts I thought were gray. (laughs) Mr. Wacky Stuff says, I'm not defensive. You're defensive. Mr. Wacky Stuff, I'm not crying, you're crying. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, I, uh, I am also partially colorblind, but it's like very little. It's pretty mild. Yeah. It's more of, is that navy or is that black? And that is why navy and blue are my least favorite colors. <laughs> navy specifically and blue in general. Because navy is a fraud. <laughs> Absolutely hate that color. Because it is never the color it's supposed to be. I just don't like it. Damage Microbe says, that's where all the tears came from. The other guy crying so much. Mr. Wacky Stuff, hey Ty, any chance for a free 2,000 points? Just wondering. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even know how to give away points. <laughs> Honestly. I was like, I wonder how you do that. <laughs> I, I mean, I have a Gamers in the Unknown channel watching just to gather up points so I can have a 1,000 or two at a time to, to throw at dawn. <laughs> And Damage Microbe says, and that's Jake, says you can't. Well, I have to say, cool. That's one less thing I have to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to go see how my points look. Oh, I get to open another box. Boom. I know, More I points. love opening those. All right. See, those, that just added a lot of depth to these. Because now instead of just being 
purple circles, they are actually like suckers. That's the word. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Say purple circles five times fast. Purple circles, purple circles, purple circles, purple circles, purple circles. Purple circles. Gotcha. <laughs> I have a speech impediment, you <laughs> jerkwad. <laughs> You've got excuses. A shout of you. <laughs> Mr. P- Courage the Cowardly Dog isn't pink. You're pranking me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damage Microbe says, if you click the little thing, it will tell you the ways to earn points faster. Technically, Max earns them so fast being a subscriber and interacting and so on. That looks So Jake, you horrible. mentioned, or Damaged Microbe, you mentioned um, that maybe we would do something, a stream on Sunday. Were you talking about on the uh, Geeking and Relaxing? I kind of freaked out because I thought you might mean for uh, Gamers in the Unknown but there's like a lot there. I didn't want to really have to bring my whole computer out to Kansas City. <laughs> Mr. Wacky Stuff says, I went to speech therapy for years when I was young. I still can't speak well, but can nail tongue twisters. I hear ya. <laughs> yeah, um, my brother always makes fun of me because of the way I say my R's. Because as he likes to say, I say it like a pirate. Because that's how I was. I was. They, she was literally like, "Pretend you're a pirate and say R," because I had a long list of speech impediments. The way I'm speaking now is ten times better than how I used to spell. Because my name is Cora Elizabeth Rucker, and I used to say it Koa Elizabeth Waka. That was my speech impediment. That's how bad it was. I couldn't say S's. I couldn't say TH. I could barely say T. I couldn't say R's. There's just, I had a lot of speech impediments. It was really bad. Yeah, I it, was, was in... it was cute as hell, and we wanted to keep it, but, you know, then she'd have probably blamed us at 30 when when they were still doing it. So. <laughs> I, I, w- <laughs> I think they actually required me to do it because it was so bad. I was in speech cl- therapy classes from, like, th- two, second to third grade all the way until, like, fifth grade is whenever I finally got out of it and whenever I got into sixth grade they made me join read 180 because I couldn't read out loud very well because I also have a stutter on top of all of that so with my speech impediment and my stutter I was very shy reading out loud so I would read quietly and I would read slowly jumbling over my words a lot so I had like the highest reading level in my entire school But I was in read 180 because I couldn't read out loud. (laughs) But we mostly played Scrabble, so it was fun. (laughs) Um, Max Universe says, that's the way I say my R's. (laughs) Mr. Wacky Stuff says, well, if he makes a joke, call him the (laughs) retard. Okay. (laughs) It's going to be pirate day now, huh? (laughs) Hopefully not. (laughs) I added a little bit of white to my pink to hopefully get it to not be as purple. Because even this bright pink turned out to be really purple compared to the hot pink I was using for the lines. So I'm hoping a little bit of white will brighten it up to be more of a pink. Otherwise I'll have to go over it again with like the hot pink mellowed down. Which would probably... Yeah, that's just going to work better. Let me just skip to that point. (laughs) Well, Cthulhu Under the Sea. Live Under the Sea. (laughs) Um, Okay, Jake. Yeah, that's not really a bad idea. Maybe I'll I'll see about getting that app on my phone, finally. But... uh, any of those except for Gamers in the Unknown, I'm down with. <laughs> okay, I think I got it this time. There we go. That's way too much. And Mr. Wacky Stuff says, Who lives in a darkness under Cthulhu no pants? <laughs> no, I wanted... No. 
Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Be decisive. No. <laughs> There's your decisiveness. <laughs> We're working hard to get the uh, Cthulhu and Spongebob theme song to work together. <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, brace, Cthulhu, glue. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Mr. Wacky Stuff says, I should not be allowed to type at 2 a.m. after a full day of work. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you being on. We know it's late over there. And our friend Michael Mordor gets on, feel the same way, because we know it's really late for him in Scotland as well. I'm just like completely redoing the brain over and over again. <laughs> Heart that'll be very little seen. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, this looks more purple. Ah! He's probably just going to end up with like a purple brain. I might end up doing the... Uh... Oh, yes, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to add the... After the brain dries, I'm going to add a light coat of the black ink on top of it. So it'll darken it and it might actually look like a black brain which would be really cool. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I just have to wait for it to dry. And I'm pretty sure it's like the only thing I have left to do now. Read out loud, Father. <laughs> Mr. Wacky Sev says, I'm thinking of making a spring-powered dice cannon, just not sure how to power, how power to make it, how powerful to make it. Max Universe, is it just me or is that purple looking like cotton candy pink it looks purple to me um but i did state earlier that i am partially colorblind so it's very possible that is a very pretty pink and i just think it's purple um i guess that's for you guys to decide but it looks like really purple to me it's really hard to focus it in the face in there though There we go. Yeah, I mean, it looks purple to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Waggy Stuff says maybe he has a pretty brain. He does have a pretty brain. I don't want him to have a pretty purple brain. I want him to have a pretty pink brain. have to remember to pop over to YouTube every once in a while and see if there are questions or anything like that. I feel really bad when I forget about it for a little while. Yeah, see, it does have a purple t tinge, and I don't know why. I'm trying to stop it, but it just wants to keep on going that way. Ms. Leo says, looks pretty pink to me, but with a bit of a purple tinge. Mr. Wacky stuff's leave and be. Uh, Damage Microbe says, wait, is the brain of the Cthulhu not pink? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what he looks like right now. Uh, I think he's pretty much done. He's incredibly cute. And I might not use him as a um, paint pot holder. I might just use him as a companion. But you made him for the dimensions of a paint pot. Yes. Specifically what? A Vallejo or? A uh, Citadel. Citadel? Vallejo I don't think makes the pots because Vallejo tends to stay in, in these which is actually preferred because uh, they don't spill because you close them immediately. Um, but yeah, it will fit. I'm not going to do that right now because I'll uh, <laughs> get paint all over the bottom of my null oil. <laughs> Well, and I think but. the loop video shows part of that as well. 
Yeah, because I was you formed it around there. I was testing it multiple times, um, and they're not perfectly sized. Like this one, I did make it to where it moves a bit. That way, you can squeeze it in nice and well, and put it in perfectly. Well, I mean, look at that bloody face. Isn't that just so cute? <laughs> so cute it makes me furious unless someone's got to watch over his little brain his purple little brain hmm now the lines of the brain are brighter than the guts of the brain that's cool it's the opposite of what it's supposed to be <laughs> I just hope the man who designed the G.W. Potts came to terms with the pain and suffering he's caused, to, caused us all and he stumps his toe. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, look at his little beauty mark. His little boo boo uh, booty cheek beauty mark. He's got a little freckle on his butt. And he's cute. Cthulhu's birthmark. It sounds like a curse. <laughs> like the black spot. Where is that? Did I? I think I. Yeah, I think I used this color. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Booty mark. Yes. Like the lines of his brain was looking really salmon. And I have never seen a brain with salmon in its ha in its color squeal. You know? Like I've seen blue brains, I've seen black brains, I've seen pink brains, I've seen blue brains. I think I already said blue brains. But I have never seen a salmon colored brain. You know why? Cause it's an ugly color. I'm sorry to everyone who likes salmon, but it's just a uh, color that is as indecisive as I am, and I don't need that in my life. <laughs> it's like, am I pink? Am I orange? Well, it depends on the situation. <laughs> and it's just, uh, it aggravates me. It's like, there are only two colors in this world that can make me physically angry, and that is navy and salmon. Because neither of those colors can decide what they are. I thought salmon as a color was invented in the 1980s to, uh, to dye the shirts of yuppies. <laughs> Don't Mr. know what that means. <laughs> Mr. Wacky Stuff says, Man, I wish Lovecraft talked more about booty and less about his view on races. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, Damage Micro, well, we can't listen to you. You think that's purple, Mr. Wacky Stuff. Can I get in one? Is it not purple? <laughs> it can I get in purple. one this and say, fuck turquoise? <laughs> I think Dad would... Dad, you want to list off all the fake colors? There are, I'd probably say Roy G. Biv, honestly. There's, there's, <laughs> there's too many fake colors. It's just, you know. He doesn't believe in teal. Made up color. It's made up color. If it looks like another color and you give it a new name, I don't believe you. Teal course, looks completely looks, different. Well, it looks the same to me because I'm colorblind. <laughs> so I think you guys are making it up just to mess with colorblind people. Nope. Ooh, got some pink on his skull. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh boy. This is a lot. So, uh, Damage Microbe says, Salmon and Navy, two colors I actually have quite a lot of. You yuppie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, actually, I like Navy, even though, of course, I struggle with it. <laughs> um, Mr. Wacky Stuff says, In one this. Fuck. In on this eight. Fucked it twice. This great trick... The devil ever pulled on colorblind people was making the go and stop colors on traffic lights the two they can't see. Yes, so most places in the U.S. are standardized to have them in the same order. And and if they're the lights with the little filter on them, I personally use 
whether I'm looking at the top or the bottom light to figure out if I should go or stop. <laughs> Dragon uh, Damage Microbe says, I used to breathe fire and write tabletop RPGs. Of course I'm a yuppie. <laughs> uh, I believe it was actually our my Popo. He was he was in a different country do working on I don't remember what he works does it work wise, but he was driving around and he's also color partially colorblind. And they were the sideways lights. So he didn't know <laughs> which way it went. He was in Australia. <laughs> Australia. I think he was also not allowed to drive in the U.S. afterwards because Momo didn't want him driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> well, that sounds familiar, too. But the, occasionally here in the U.S. we have those sideways lights, and boy, I oh. have like a lot of anxiety at those traffic lights. Look how perfectly that sits, just like that. He's just waving hi. <laughs> hi. It's so cute. And that one just fits perfectly in his booty. That's why I keep putting that one there. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wacky Stuff says, in answer to Damage Microbe, used to, as in be a yuppie, used to, can't be a yuppie if you're n no longer young. <laughs> Well, the, the, when the yuppies were younger, they had a different name. It was the 1960s, and they called them hippies. Oh, zing! <laughs> Damage Micro says, well, pandemic and other jobs took up my fire-breathing performance time. Though it's always tempting to get back into it. Yeah, I've seen pictures. It's, it's pretty neat. He's just waving hi, and it's so cute. You made my face shiny by starting up those... Oh, it's that. It, that's right. That's what's doing it. Is when I have a filter on and then I remove it. It's like, are you sure you don't want the <laughs> filter? Shh. Mm. Mom. Rude. <laughs> Cthulhu's just sat trying to say hi and you're quacking at us. Yeah, I'm stuck <laughs> to the chair now. <laughs> Did you close the browser? That might fix it. No, it's not a browser. It's an app, sweetheart. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Uh, he is done. Um. He's really cute. Wrong way. You gonna put it on the big screen, Dada? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Um, Thank you, thank you. I have been clipped. It has started. No! <laughs> <laughs> a clip, a clip! <laughs> I'm going to pull out the hot glue from his bum. There we go. There he is. Super cute. And now he's waving hello and goodbye. And it's so cute. I absolutely love him. He turned out phenomenal. I have nothing else to say. Just thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next week. I think, I don't know for sure, so don't take my word on it, but I think what I'm going to be doing next week is a mug with teeth. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. Uh, probably not for drinking out of, though, uh, but it is going to be a mug with teeth. If I do that. I don't know for sure yet. Um, but he is absolutely cute. Absolutely adorable, and I love him, and I'm keeping him forever. <laughs> you might see him, you might see him on the next stream that Mom's painting. He, she might use him her for, him for her paint pots. 